Welcome to the Men of Integrity, men that rescue men and women. We had a glorious time the last time we were together last week, and I'm sure that you were empowered by the Word of God. And I'm telling you, I am hearing the voices of people that are triumphing. They are victorious. They are being healed. Even in my own church, people are being healed from all manner of sickness and diseases. And we are shouting the victory because this is the year of greater. This is the year that God is revealing, manifesting what you, the believer, can believe. How tonight with me, Apostle J.L. with Fisher from the Saint Center in Carpus Cove. Yeah, uh, let me just encourage you to keep on writing those checks and, and swiping those cards because you really don't know uh, how many people that you're reaching. We got people that they'll never come to church, but they'll turn on that television and some of them are shut in, they, um, they can't come, and um, God is keeping track of all that you're giving and all that you're doing, and you're going to find out that if you give to a program like this here, when you get to heaven, uh, you're going to have rewards that you didn't even know you had. And God's going to tell you, because you gave, this person here got saved. This person here got delivered. And so um, it's, uh, just keep on giving. And uh, I was thinking about the Apostle Paul Bishop. Mm -hmm. When he used the word bounty and giving, he used it in a form of a eulogy. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, our giving is like a eulogy. Mm -hmm. And you know, you never heard a bad eulogy. That's right. I don't care how bad the individual <laughs> was. You never heard of a bad eulogy. But you know, we give a eulogy and the eulogy is about the man that died. Well, yes. we give a eulogy about somebody that died for us yes. and his name is Jesus. Yes. And so, you know, I mean, think about it. What could you say about Jesus? I mean, his eulogy would, um, uh, well, it would take the whole world to complete his eulogy and then some. Yes. And, yes. Uh, and you know, God is good all the time. That's right. And all the time God is good. So, so take that time and, and, and write that check and, and give. It says, give and it shall be given to you good measures, pressed down, shaken together, shall men. Now, God is going to reward you not only himself personally, but he'll just cause men to do that. People yes. will just think that they just need to give you something. Yes. And you'll remember that it's because of your giving to the kingdom of God. So I want to encourage you to continue to give. You know, the television station is a ministry. Mm -hmm. It's actually a platform where the gospel is preached and taught, worship and praise is taking place. Mm -hmm. You are tonight, you're getting ready to hear a life-changing experience through the KPLE television. And the crew here that runs the KPLE television station love the Lord so much, and they put a gallant effort together to help put on the best gospel experience that you could have. So let's join the team of giving. Mm -hmm. Let's sow the seeds of faith. Come by the TV station, call it in, and they'll swipe it over the card. It's very secure, okay? Uh, these people have a lot of integrity here. And so we need your support. We need your help. And it's not going to any particular ministry. It's going to the KPLE TV station. Yes. You've heard it from Bishop Shaw. <laughs> All right, let's get into the Word of God. Ephesians chapter 6 and verse number 12. Mm -hmm. It says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in mm -hmm. high places. Yes. When we stop and we look at that, we realize that this is a psychological warfare, that it is based on a lot of propaganda. Uh, it is based upon the fact that the enemy wants to deceive us about the love of Jesus Christ. All right. He does not want us to believe that God loves us so much that he will never leave us, he will never fail us, and he will never forsake us. He wants us to believe that God has forgotten about you. 
He wants you to believe that the answer to your prayer is never coming. He wants you to just give up, kill yourself, cut yourself, get high, get drunk, and all this other kind of stuff. But I want to tell you something, baby. That's not God. God mm -hmm. loves you for God so loved the world Come on now. that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him will not perish but should have everlasting life. And this is your season. This is your time. This is the year of greater. The spell is broken. The curse has been reversed. And now is your time to be blessed. So let me tell you how you're going to be blessed. You're going to yield to the power of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, Corinthian talks about. But you're going to have to get filled with the Holy Ghost for real. Mm -hmm. And you're going to have to learn how to yield to the voice of God. You're going to have to learn how to walk in the integrity of God's Word. Yeah, and uh, we have to remember Jesus told the disciples uh, just before he left and went to glory, and you know, just like uh, uh, when you're getting ready to go for a long time, mm -hmm. you cut through the chase and you tell, talk about the things that are important, yes. things that we need to. And the last thing he talked about was the Holy Ghost. Absolutely. You know, the Holy Ghost is here to make sure that we understand the truth about God. That's right. And get the revelation of God. Mm -hmm. Now, Satan is styled as the accuser of the brethren mm -hmm. in Revelation 10, uh, 12 and 10, and in Joel 1 and 6, Zechariah 3 and 1. Mm -hmm. He is seeking his influence among men. And he wants you to believe that you don't need to go to church. Come on now. He wants you to believe that you don't need to listen to them preachers. Come on now. He wants you to believe that it don't take all of that. But I'm going to tell you now, it takes all of that and more. Yeah. It takes us to know the truth. The Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Mm -hmm. And here's the truth that I need you to understand, and that is Matthew 6 and 33. If you seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, all these other things shall be added unto you. Yeah. If you apply yourself according to Deuteronomy 28 and 1, if thou hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, and uh, be obedient to all that he says. Mm -hmm. He says, I'll set you on high above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. That's right. Satan doesn't want us to believe that. Oh, no. He, he doesn't want us to be blessed, you yes. know. I mean, he, he hates God so much. And then every time he looks at us, we are made in the image and likeness of God. And, you know, like a, a young lady, she has a boyfriend. She's mad with him. She can't get to him, so she just tear up his picture. Yes. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? So that's the way the enemy uh, uh, looks at us. And, he, and you can see what he's doing to the human race. He's, yes. just, he's just emaciating the human race. But... What, and, and that ought to be a real sign that God really loves us because yes. if God really doesn't love us, he don't need to do anything. Yes. See what I'm saying? Yes. You know, we have lived beneath our privileges for so long. Come on now. And what God wants us to do is learn how to be blessed. See, you have to learn how to get in <laughs> position. There you go. You have to learn how to reestablish the relationship with God to get the benefits of the relationship. Mm -hmm. One of the key and paramount scriptures in the Word of God is found in Isaiah 11 and 2. Okay? And this is where you have to start at the very bottom. Once you are filled with the Holy Spirit power, mm -hmm. it says, and the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. Mm -hmm. In other words, he is under the influence and the power of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then he talks about the spirit of wisdom. Come on now. Wisdom is the ability to use the knowledge that you know. Okay. Okay. You can know a whole lot of stuff, but if you don't know what to do with what you know, it renders no benefits. Then he says, there's a spirit of understanding. Mm -hmm. My beloved, do you understand God? Do you understand God's principles, precepts, concepts? Do you understand that a man must always pray if he's not going to faint? Mm -hmm. Do you understand that having done all to stand, you have to stand anyhow? That's right. Okay? right. These are the things that we have to come to understand. And then there is the spirit of counsel. Okay? Are you listening to the voice of God? See, most people, Apostle, they have their own thoughts about themselves. Yeah. But the spirit of counsel speaks to us in Jeremiah 29 and 11 and says, I know the thoughts that I have towards you, mm -hmm. thoughts of good and not of evil to bring unto your expected end. That's the counsel of God. Mm -hmm. Then do you understand the spirit of might? 
Okay? Mm. Not by power nor by might, but by my spirit, spirit said the, the Lord. Lord. Then again, the spirit of knowledge is then the spirit of the fear of God. Mm -hmm. Do you respect God? Do you respect what God thinks, what God says? This is where we have to start. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I was uh, 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 thinking about Proverbs. It says wisdom is the principal thing. Yeah. Therefore, get wisdom and with all thy getting, get an understanding. Yes. And then Proverbs picks it up and, and God says, counsel is mine. Yes. And then it says, there is no counsel yes. against God. Yes. That's the word, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then of course, Proverbs says, it says that um, the fear of the Lord yes. is the beginning yes. of knowledge. Break it down. See what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. And then the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, to yes. depart from yes. evil. Yes. See what I'm saying? And see, and see, when we do all of that and we go after all of that with God and the Spirit of God, man, what kind of life are we going to have? Wow. That's, you're going to have a prosperous life. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we got the counsel of God. Yes. We got the wisdom of God. We got the understanding of what's going on. Yes. And, then, and we left evil. We're not on the condo and in the bar room yes. and drunk yes. And, yes. And, and, and out of our minds on LSD yes. and everything like that. And then we got the knowledge of God. Say, Paul said, he said, I know whom I believe. Yes. Yeah. You know, you know, it keeps you from being deceived. Come on now. It keeps come on, you come from on. being yoked and bound because the anointing that is upon your life because of the Spirit of God is what keeps us free. There you go. We must learn for ourselves how to be led and led. used by God in a powerful way as to yield to the moving mm. of the Holy Spirit. There you See, go. what direction is God going? Mm -hmm. Are you going in the same direction that God's <laughs> going? Or are you doing something totally different. In Isaiah 10 and 27, mm -hmm. he says, and it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away mm -hmm. from off thy shoulders, his yoke from off thy neck, mm -hmm. and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Satan has suppressed us mm -hmm. for so long. It's not a nationality, an ethnic group. It's, 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 it's not white folks, red folks, purple folks, uh, black folks that are suppressing us. It is the enemy. It That's is right. Satan. It's the demonic forces of darkness. We're not wrestling against ethnic groups. Come We're on. wrestling against spiritual wickedness in high places. And Satan will get in any ethnic group that will yield itself. That's right. So what we got to do is we got to pray and come back against that spirit that is coming against us. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, in that same scripture you're talking about, it says we're not wrestling against flesh and blood. Yeah. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? But it's, it's, it's the enemy. Yes. I mean, we just got to simply say it's the devil. It's we, the used, devil. we used to say that in the church. Yes. But now we didn't got all technical and everything. We got our psychologists and I'm not mm -hmm. knocking them yes. and everything like that. But it's taking away the simplicity mm -hmm. in, uh, of the gospel and the simplicity of the word uh, um, that tells us exactly, pinpoints exactly what it is. And it, it is the devil. <laughs> you know, you're absolutely right because, you know, right now there are so many people that are in a traumatized state. Come on now. They've been through so much. They've endured so much pain and so much disappointment and so much mishap in their life. They've seen just catastrophic events and they can't turn that video off and they can't quiet the voices in their head. But my beloved, tonight I got news for you. If you get the Holy Ghost <laughs> Come on, and man. yield to the Holy Ghost, on, the man. Holy Ghost is what destroys that yoke. That's right. Eh? And you, you know how it was. You know, we come up through the church. You know, people came into the church with problems. Yes. Watch this here. Oh, we just call it the devil, cast it out. Yes. Uh, prayed over it. Yes. And the next time they came, they were straight. They were straight. <laughs> but they, today they call that ignorance. Yeah. See, but I'll tell you what, there's a power that comes from God. Mm. that can mm. help you when your money can't help you. Come on now. That will help you when your family can't help Come you. Come on. It will help you when the doctor can't <laughs> help you. It will help you when you're sitting there all by yourself in your misery. Mm -hmm. The power of God will come in the room and cancel out that suicide there spirit. You go. There you go. It will drive out that depression and oppression that is in your life. Mm. But you got to yield. 
You got to give yourself over to the Holy Ghost and the power of God. Yeah, and see, the people didn't understand the movement of the Spirit. That, that's the reason why we was dancing, because the burden had been, been lifted. lifted. Yes. The yoke had been broken. Yes. Right? We got a word from the Lord that yes. it was going to be all, all right. right. And we sung the song, <laughs> didn't we? He said, everything is going to be, be all, all right. right. <laughs> yes, sir. The word of God told me <laughs> it's going to be all right. You know, those, those are joyous times. And believe it or not, you know, it's still happening in the church. Come on now, you that's know, we're right. We're still rejoicing. That's and those right. things are still happening in the that's church. Right. It's just depending on where you're going. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I'm not knocking where anybody goes, but my question is, where you're going, are they telling you, you have to yield to the power of God. Yeah. You have to be filled with the Holy Ghost. That's right. You have to walk by faith. Mm -hmm. You have to put your trust and confidence in God. And in all your ways, you have to acknowledge him and allow him to direct, direct your path. Yeah. And you know, uh, the anointing also brings us freedom. Yes. And so we had freedom in our freedom in our service. And the yes. Bible says, where the spirit of the Lord is, yes. there is liberty. liberty. <laughs> oh, glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's great. You know, in Leviticus 26 and 13, mm -hmm. God makes this declaration. Mm -hmm. I am the Lord your God mm -hmm. who brought you out of the land of Egypt Come on now. that you should not be their slave. If you translate that to 2018, God it says, I am the Lord your uh -huh. God, and I'm bringing you out of addictions. I'm bringing you out of pain. I'm bringing you out of misery. I'm bringing you out of disappointment. I'm bringing you out of poverty, and you shall not be their slave. I have broken the bands of your yoke and made you to walk upright. Mm. Hold your head up. <laughs> Act like you know God Come on and now. follow him according to the word of God. In most instances, the yoke was used as a figurative description of severe oppression. Yeah. But I'm free today. Yeah. And all that will be free, God will set them free. Yeah, and so that's why when we came in, we could sing that song. He brought me out of darkness into the marvelous into the light. Marvelous <laughs> light. <laughs> that is so absolutely fine. You know, we're having fun tonight, <laughs> glory to God. And we have fun at church like this uh -huh. because this is the liberty of the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. yeah. You know, when you look back at your past, it makes you want to cry. But when you look at where you are now and where you're going, it makes you want to laugh and dance and give God all of the glory. Yeah. You know, in 2 Peter 1 and 21, it says, For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, Come on. but holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Yeah. We didn't write this. We That's didn't right. make this up. <laughs> we're not preaching to tickle your ears and your toes, whatever. We're preaching a life-changing word mm. that comes from God that says you can be free. <laughs> you can be healed. You can be delivered. Huh? You don't have to be broken in poverty. You may never be a millionaire, but if God give you a dollar every time you need it, you just as rich as the millionaire. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All you have to all you have to do is be able to do what you need to do at that time. That's yeah. really that's really all it is. I, I don't need I don't need a backpack to 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 carry it. Yes, sir. I just need it to just come when I need it, you know. Yeah. And I'm telling you, we're talking about we're talking about when we're talking about the Holy Ghost and and how he works, we talk and we in service with him. We're talking about freedom. We're talking about uh, deliverance. Uh, um, you know, we're talking about we're talking about a feeling you just can't understand. Now, some people say it's not all in the feeling, but I tell you what, man, we used to love the feeling of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah, it's not all in the feeling, but that feeling feels good. <laughs> You know, I want to ask you a question because I, I know that there is some things going on in your life. Mm -hmm. I, I know there's some pressure that you're feeling, whether it's financial, whether it's spiritual, whether it's uh, physical, whether it's relational. Mm -hmm. But there's a question the apostle wants to ask you tonight. And when he asks you that question, if you say yes, you're going to feel the power of God right now, this moment, in the name of Jesus well, Bishop, Christ. Well, Bishop, you led me into it. But, you know, here, here's, here's what they said in the Bible. Jesus uh, said in the Bible uh, to the, the man watch it, that was sick and had uh, uh, been at the pool for yeah, so long. He said, yeah. will thou be made whole? And yeah. that's the question unto yeah. you. 
Will thou be made whole? If you're going to be made whole, it's all in the Lord. It's all. it's all in the Lord. Watch this here. Forget about this and forget about that. The Lord is saying to you, will thou be made whole? No excuses. That mm. guy had excuses. Yes. Lord, I don't have nobody mm. to put me in. The Lord said, that's not what I asked you. Yes. You understand right. what I'm that's saying? Right. That's not what I, I ask you. Will thou be made whole? Yeah. You know, and <laughs> that's the question that this generation needs to ask. Mm -hmm. The doctor can't make you whole. That's right. The medicine is not going to make you whole. Okay. New relationships is not going to make you whole. Come More on. money is not going to make you whole. The only thing that's going to make you whole is the endow or the endo of the Holy Spirit in your life. That's right. And the ability to yield in total obedience Come to the Word Come of on. God. Come on. Listen, my beloved, nobody's trying to take anything from you. Uh -huh. God's trying to get something to you. And that's to walk in faith and power of the Holy Ghost. You got to make a decision tonight night. Whether or not you're going to continue as status quo, uh, try to figure it out, try to pull it together, or are you going to yield to God and let him give you instructions in righteousness that you could get the answer to your prayer? Yeah, and I'm remembering, Bishop, we forget the fact why Jesus came too. He said, I came that you might have life. Yes. And that more abundant. He's not talking about heaven he's talking about but heaven on earth yes and yes. so but well, we got to follow him yes we got to follow him. we got to make sure that we get it like he said and then it will appear yes and if it's not appearing we need to check up on it and say am i really following the lord am i really following this word am i really believing the lord do i really have the holy ghost yeah. you know we got to ask ourselves those questions if it's not if if it's not working like this bible said and we're supposed to be part of it yeah you know that that's very powerful that you brought that out in john 10 and 10 mm -hmm. but see you have to have the revelation and understanding that mm -hmm. the thief is going to do his job. That's right. The devil is going to kill, steal, and destroy. Lord. But Jesus says, in the midst of all of that, <laughs> if you're walking and yielding to the Holy Ghost, you're going to have life and life more abundantly. I'm not going to let your lights get cut off. Okay? I'm not going to let you get evicted. Come on. But if you're not yielding to my voice and doing the things that I'm telling you to do, you over here and the blessing is right here. I'm talking to somebody tonight. You need to go back to church. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to somebody tonight. You need to get out of your own opinions and your ideologies, and you need to go back to the Word of God. Okay? You don't have a ministry outside of the vision of God. It's time for you to reconnect with your pastor. If you don't have a pastor, it's time to go find one. Find one that's going to challenge your faith. Find one that's going to challenge your ability to be obedient in Christ Jesus. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit, Galatians 5 and 25 says. Yeah. And this is where we need to be at. Yeah, that's right. And, and uh, um, you know, uh, we just got to be able to understand, the, uh, uh, and it says, be not ignorant, it says, but understand what the will of God is. Yes. You know, and a lot of, a lot of us don't have the understanding but we got to read this book and then let the teacher, yes. which is the Holy Ghost, yes. teach us. Yes. Uh, uh, and, and that's another thing, too. If, if you really got the Spirit of God, mm -hmm. he's leading you back to the Scripture. Word of God. Yes, sir. Yes. And anything that's leading you apart from the Word of God, uh, that's not the Spirit of God. That's not God. God has provided his children with the supernatural ability Thank to you. hear mm -hmm. and to be led by him through the indwelling and infilling of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And it is by the power of God's Holy Spirit mm -hmm. that we are able to walk in the Spirit filled with supernatural power and the ability to accomplish God's will for us on the earth. Yeah. It's through that. Yeah. And uh, again, uh, Zechariah 4 and 6 says, not by power, nor by might, but by my spirit. That's how you're going to get it done. Well, you know, that's, that's the scripture that I had next. <laughs> he has provided for uh -huh. each of us a supernatural supply of information. That's right. Power, wisdom, and strength, mm -hmm. and more. And it's all available to every person simply by knowing and accessing 
his spirit. Mm -hmm. Okay? And Zechariah 4 and 6, Then he spake and said unto me, saying, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, this is not by might nor by power, but it's by my spirit, said the Lord of hosts. Yeah. So if you're operating outside the Holy Ghost, if you're operating outside the Spirit of God, then how are you in the will of God and how will you get the results that God wants you to have? Now, you can get your results and they're <laughs> going to be temporary, but if you want God results, right. they are permanent and eternal. Yeah, and then, you know, I'm, 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 Jesus was saying in the last day of that great day of the feast, this last feast he had before he went to the cross, he stood up and he said, if any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. Yeah. And he said, this he spake of the Holy Ghost that everyone that believed mm. should receive. And then yeah. remember, he talked to the lady at the well. He said, if you know who you were talking to, yes. you would ask him for the living water. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I got the rivers of living waters <laughs> over here. <laughs> <laughs> and out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water yeah. if you believe on him as the scripture has as said. Scripture you know, the only said. way you can believe on him as the scripture has said, you have to have the Holy Ghost. That's right. Because the carnal mind Come cannot on. understand the things of the spirit. That's right. Okay? And neither is it subject to those things. But when you've been transformed by the Holy Ghost and the power of God, it's life changing. Mm -hmm. Look, likewise, the spirit also helps our infirmities, helps our weakness in Romans 8 and 26 that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. man. Yeah. You got about 30 seconds. What do you want to say before we go? Well, you know, um, I just want to encourage you uh, to keep on um, um, tuning in to the men of integrity uh, to get this life-changing word that God is giving us. We give all glory. We give, give all glory to God. And this is the time that we need the truth. And I believe that God has given us a platform uh, uh, to uh, bring the truth. Uh, Bishop Shaw has le been leading us the way for a, a, a few years now. And, um, and, and let us know how it has blessed you from time to time. Amen. Uh, maybe write into KPLE and tell them how it's blessed you. We, we'll be blessed to know that it's blessed you. Absolutely. We are excited about that. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to sow that seed of faith. It's your time. It's your season. Be a part of the team and sow a seed to KPLE. The address is on the screen. Don't forget to come and see us in person in any of our ministries. Sunday morning at 1030, 508 North Gray Street, downtown Colleen. Saint Center is... Yes, at 11 o'clock Sunday morning. And uh, we'll be starting a new Saint Center Good. in Colleen uh, uh, in some weeks to come. So we'll be putting that information, uh, uh, giving you that information, and so you can um, experience Saint Center and Colleen too. That's going to be <laughs> phenomenal. Hey, listen, we love you, we enjoyed you, and we are the men of integrity, and we are praying for your miracle. God bless you now. Out of your belly, out of your